Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Rodney Samuels. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for checking out my channel. I'm a former car salesman and entrepreneur. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can sell your car privately. And I'm also going to show you all of the forms that you're going to need and where you can get them from. Okay. And if you happen to be in the market for a new vehicle, you might want to check out an auto auction where you can usually get cars for a little bit cheaper price and they are happening locally. There's a link in the description of this video and in the comment section where you can find a local auction near you. So make sure you check that out before you, uh, before you leave this video. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, the first thing you're going to need and you're gonna to wanna to have if you're selling your car privately is the vehicle history report. A popular place to get this is Carfax, carfax.com. You're gonna to wanna to have this handy so that you can show it to any potential people that come and look at the car. It'll show your maintenance history on it. It'll show all the prior owners that own the vehicle before you, if that's the case, okay? Customers are going to definitely want to see this, so make sure you have that handy, your vehicle history report. The next piece of information you're gonna to wanna to have when you're selling your car privately is your vehicle's maintenance history. Now, some of your maintenance history may show up on your Carfax, hopefully it does, okay, but you wanna make sure that you have it on hand. So what you can do is, if you got your car serviced at, let's say, a Pet Boys, or even your car dealership, you can go to your car dealership, wherever you had it serviced, and ask them to give you a printout of all of the maintenance that you've had done on the vehicle over the years. You can always tell potential customers, potential buyers that your vehicle is great, it's this and that, but if you can show them that you took care of the vehicle while you owned it with regular maintenance, that's always a great selling point. So make sure you get your vehicle maintenance history printed out and have that ready to go. Okay, the next piece of information you're gonna to wanna to have handy for selling your car privately is having your warranty information, okay? If your vehicle is under some sort of a, a warranty, whether it's still from the manufacturer or if, or if it's an aftermarket warranty that covers you up to a certain amount of mileage on the vehicle, you wanna have that information handy. That's a great selling point if your vehicle is still under some sort of warranty. Make sure you have that handy. Make sure that you can show them what company is warranting the service and have the contact information for that warranty company handy. It's a great selling point which will help you hold the value in your vehicle. The next document you're gonna to wanna to have for selling your car privately is your odometer statement. If your vehicle is 10 years old or newer, by law, you're going to have to have this and have it filled out, okay? I'm gonna give you a sample, I'm showing you a sample, I'm gonna give you a link where you can get this odometer statement or a sample of it so that you can look over. Remember to check with your DMV for all the specific laws for your state. But here's some of the items that are going to be on that odometer statement. I'm gonna read it right from my list here. The year, make, model, and VIN number of the vehicle, the buyer's name and address, the seller's name and address, which is you, seller's signature, the current vehicle mileage at the time of sale, okay? And this document is going to have to be notarized. So make sure you have that odometer statement when you're ready to sell your car. The next document you're gonna need for selling your car privately is of course the title to the vehicle that shows that you actually own the car that you are selling. Okay, you have to have the title because when you're transferring ownership to the new owner, you're going to have to sign the back of the title over to them. That is a legal procedure that has to be done. Then that owner will take the title to the DMV and get a new title printed out and sent to them. Now, if you're selling a car that still has a balance on it, let's say you still owe the bank some money, okay? You have to find out what the, um, you have to let this, the new owner know that you still owe a balance on it because it's gonna take time for the bank to send you the title after you send them the payoff. So you have to find out what the payoff is, make sure you get that exact amount, okay? You will take that money, send it to the bank, and they will eventually send you the title. So that can take some time, all right? So let the potential buyer know that it might take some time for them to get title in hand, all right? But you will need the title to transfer ownership. 
The last document you're going to want to have when you're selling your car privately is a bill of sale. Now this is not required by law everywhere, but a bill of sale will document everything about this transaction. Also, it's a good idea to have an as is disclosure along with your bill of sale. It can be on the same document or you can have a separate as is disclosure. I'm going to be showing you a sample of one here with both of them together. Okay. As is most buyers are going to know that you're not putting any type of a warranty on this vehicle other than the one that may come with it as is so that when the sale is done, it's final. You definitely want to have that. Okay. Now your bill of sale is going to have things like this on it. The vehicle description, the odometer disclosure, the purchase price, the delivery date and signatures. And it'll be a good idea to have this document notarized also. So there you have it. Those are the documents that you will need to sell your car privately. Okay. I gave you some examples, showed you some examples, and there are links in the description of this video where you can go and check them out. Now, these are only samples. Okay. Remember to always check with the laws in your state with the DMV to make sure that you're doing everything properly. Please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Hope this video helped. See you guys next time.